Chinoy TV is brought to you by Oishi. Today on Chinoy TV, meet the newly elected president of the largest Filipino Chinese organization in the country, Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated. The sun is up and so are the latest hot spots we should all visit this entire summer and Lenten season. Join us as we discover more of them. I'm Janina Chan, I'm Tai Shiren, and this is Chinoy TV, Feifa Dian Shetai. The Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated, or FFCCCII, recently inducted its new set of officers. Let's get to know more about their newly elected president, Mr. Henry Limbon Leong. Well, I joined FFCCCII more than 24 years ago. Four years, almost a quarter of a century. So I spent the best time of my life serving the association, serving the federation, and I'm happy that at long last I was given the opportunity to lead the federation. My name is Henry Lim Bon Leong Lin Yi Ching. I'm the newly elected president of the Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated, and this is my profile. FFCCCI is really one of the biggest business federations in the Philippines. Now. We have more than 170 organizations under our umbrella. We also play a very important role during disasters. We already donated more than 5,600 school buildings. Every day there are more than 700,000 students studying inside the classrooms built by the federation. Well, during that time, I was in my early 40s. I was recruited by one of the, the old guards of the Federation. Since at that time, they need fresh blood to join them. I can really give a strong support for whatever is the Federation's welfare. Not knowing that once you enter the Federation, it's really very difficult to get out already. So in order for you to enter the federations, you should be a representative of any one of the organizations. And every two years, we have a convention. You have to be a representative of that convention. And each organization has a maximum of only around 14 representatives. And we know of two, a maximum of 14. So every year, there are around 800 delegates joining the convention. And you know, out of these 800, we elect around, including the provinces, around 300 plus. And out of these 300 plus, we elect, you know, 47 board members. No? And out of these 47 board members, we elect the president president and vice president. When I was recruited into the Federation, I was given already a post of Vice Chairman Welfare Committee. And then our Welfare Committee, we went over around 450 school buildings every year. The one committee that I joined or become the head of that committee for many years was the External Affairs Committee. The External Affairs Committee deals with, of course, peace and order. At that time, it deals with labor, it deals with access and all these things. It's a very hectic committee and I was happy that I'm a Chairman of the committee for many, many years. It's no open secret that there are two factions competing for the presidency and I think it's a healthy exercise also. At least in the Federation, everybody is so professional, there's no much slugging. Everybody has to try to win, of course, the confidence of all the other members. But then, luckily, maybe people thought that I've been in the Federation longer than the other party. Maybe they think that I am more qualified. I'm happy that at least I won the election fairly, squarely, and I'm happy at this point in time. I think it's healing time already. We want to heal the Federation. So we want to make sure that everybody will be working harmoniously towards a unification of federation. And hopefully I can finish what I'm planning to do and I can leave a good legacy for others to follow. The Federation has always been saying that, you know, there are three treasures now, of course, the Federation. The Barrier School Project, the Relief Operations, and also the Volunteer Fire Brigade. But I think we should outgrow ourselves on these three treasures already. Maybe we can create two more treasures to make the scope wider.
FFCCCII, no doubt, is one of the biggest business organizations in the country. And you know, the success does not come easy. Over the last more than 60 years, there have been a lot of good leaders, and that's always been looked upon as an association that can really protect the small businessmen. You have so many big names in the federations, from Ralph Dukla, Ronnie Roshua, up to Lucia Tan. All of them must live a legacy. The last election was already a legacy by itself already. But people will think that you cannot win the election, but with determination, I'm happy that right now we also have a lot of younger, fresh faces coming in. We have 12 or 14 from Anbil who join us. Those are young second, third generations, the leaders of the federation. And all of these were really at fresh blood and become a very potent force for the federation to really move up. My promise is that, of course, after the election, I mean, there should be a healing process. I'm happy that our Chairman Emeritus, uh, Lu Shotan, has uh, agreed that, uh, that the Federation should stand uh, united and he has promised to support the future endeavors of the Federation. And I would like also, of course, to do healing process also among those who are competing for the presidency. And I hope that this healing process will be able to uh, at least make the Federation even, uh, even stronger. My name is Henry Lim Bon Leong, Yun Yi Ching. I'm the newly elected president of the Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated and this is my profile. Let's try this out. What do you call this again, John? That's a parry breast. So this has ube and coconut cream? Yeah. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. Chinoy TV is brought to you by West Avenue Suites. Oishi Nation for Complete Waterline UPVC Philippine Valve Manufacturing Company Albert Abaya Macron Trading Yokian Garcia Chen Zixia Wu Zhongzhen BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia-Pacific Looking for a place to spend quality time with your family this Easter Sunday? Well, we found just the perfect place for you. Hunt for all the Easter eggs you want because you're invited to Solaire's Happy Hoppy Easter Party happening this April 21st. Join me as we take an exclusive look. If you're on the hunt to spend the holidays with your family without leaving the metro, we found the best place for you to celebrate Easter. Binge on an ultimate buffet series with your friends and family. Enjoy an exquisite flavor hopping experience as you get a taste of Solaire's popular international buffet spread. So now you're here with Chef Roberto, their executive pastry chef over here at Solaire. Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you for having Together me. with our new bunny friends. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so yes, Easter is just around the corner and we are here to try out their specialties and their offers. This is just um, basically like a sneak peek of what we can expect, right? For the Correct. occasion. So Chef Roberto, what do we have here exactly in front of us? So we're having here the Easter afternoon tea. Nice. We have some hot cross buns, Ooh. the scones which go with the afternoon tea, uh -huh. all homemade bunnies, some oh. Easter eggies for retail. So let's try out their Easter high tea, Chef. Sure, if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Shortbread <laughs> and what else? Uh, that's the parry breast with coconut creamer. Okay, let's try so it. So that's right. It's not too sweet. It has a consistency of sugar cookies, kind of, but more buttery, more chewy. And I really taste that coating, the thin coating and layer of, um, is it chocolate? It's colored, white colored chocolate. White yeah. colored chocolate. Nice. Okay, let's try this out. What do you call this again, John? That's a parry breast. So this has ube and coconut cream? Yeah. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. 
You're gonna like it. Wow. <laughs> I love the crumbly texture of the ube on top of yeah. here. And lastly, we also have this beautiful bread basket. Very nice. So this is fresh from the oven. These are hot cross buns, right? Correct, yes. Okay, I got it right. And those so, are, yeah, that's very, it's a very traditional thing, especially in Europe, actually. Okay. But everybody will love them because they're nice and sweet. Okay. So the moment they come out of the oven, you brush them with sugar syrup, glaze over it. That's why it's, it. yeah, it has that nice, beautiful glaze with a cross yeah. over there. And yeah. these are raisins as well? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they are addictive. I love how um, crunchy, kind of, the outside is. And inside, very, very tender as well. Yeah, it's almost like a soft roll, which has yes. just been, yeah. Yep, it's yeah, simple. But there is, there is some extra butter in there, though. Yeah, simple, but <laughs> it's so delicious. I definitely had a wonderful time here. Me too. And again, April 21st, happy hoppy Easter party here at Solaire. Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. Chinoy TV is brought to you by Oishi Australia Harvest Oats Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Japan Parts Trading Center, distributor of Koyo Automotive and Industrial Bearings Megatech Fine Invitations Mayor Photo, professional photo and video equipment. Federation of Electrical and Electronic Suppliers and Manufacturers of the Philippines Incorporated. Nang Family. Chua Beng Teng. Enrique Chua. The Zen Institute. Tanoi Access. The ultimate barbecue at the pool is our yearly event. What makes Solea pool barbecue so exciting is it's all lively cooked in front of you. Um, the big variety, you know, the passion of the chefs from all over the world. Tonight we have, first of all, of course, food, beverages. We have a live band, we have a DJ. Um, we have people enjoying their life, drinking and just buzzing around. The best dish is behind me, you know, the smoked salmon. It's marinated for three days and then we stick it on the pine wood and then it goes cooked over really nice uh, mango wood and of course on around the, the whole pool side we have a lot of dishes from 14 different countries 55 different uh, barbecue varieties from china south america germany um, italy spain so it, everything is here The Pool Barbecue Festival here in Solaire is something that we seem to be doing almost every year. Everyone seems to like it because it's all different kind of food. We have every 
Barbecue delicacy, if there's such a thing, no? Right here at Solaire, cool side. I, I think one of the biggest reasons why you should come to Solaire is because we really do support not just the people who will come here to gamble, that's a given, it's a casino. But we want the whole family to know that you're all welcome. We have little friendly flamingos in the pool. We have the food that all ages can eat from all walks of life. And we make it reasonably priced. Well, for everybody watching right now, don't forget that there's a place for your perfect staycation. Uh, you can also uh, try your luck at the same time and see what how you can try your luck here at Solaire. Bring the whole family. Everyone is welcome at Solaire. And uh, you can check out the website and find out what are the different events and activities we have here at Solaire. One thing's for sure, don't go there, come to Solaire. SM is always into innovation, whether it's technology or in our malls. No? We always try to bring fun and exciting things for our shoppers. That's really the main purpose, is to really provide a fun malling experience to our customers. SAM is very generic. It's gender fluid. For the time being, no? it can give you directions, it can give you movie schedules, it can tell you where the nearest, for example, you want to go to the nearest comfort room, it could give you directions, deals, promos, everything about the mall. Right now we have three deployed in SM Mega Mall. The next wave will be all the premier malls. As the demand goes up, we will also be deploying in other SM Super Malls. When you spot the robot, you could already ask directions. I would like to invite everyone to come to SM Mega Mall to meet Sam and say, hey Sam. Chiang Kai-shek College High School Batch 2009 concluded its 10th anniversary reunion entitled Y2K9 a decade after, last March 30 at the Atrium Hall of Lights of Love. The event was attended by 200 people from batchmates, alumni, teachers, and sponsors, and was filled with entertainment and performances by acoustic duo, Joseph Desand artist, FMD Extreme, Chinoy TV host Jason Kyung, Razor Guerra, Bettina Su, and DJ Paolo Jaramillo. The event was made possible by the support of sponsors, including the CKSC Alumni Executive Board President Jimmy C, Vice President Joyce D, Vice President Benjamin Tan, Vice President Imperial De Jesus, Vice President Juanita Tan, Omni Electrical and Lighting, Everglory Metal Trading, Japan Home Center, and Chinoy TV as media partner. The batch officers of CKSC Batch 2009 organized the event, spearheaded by Vice President Filana Luisa Ko. The event was hosted by Magic 89.9 Boys Night Out hosts, DJ Tony Tony and DJ Jojo, the love survivor. We are very proud to present uh, Summer Harvest China Blue by Jaramila. It's a different menu, it's a different creation, it's also a different, well, cooking class experience. Today is going to be a very interesting uh, morning session. It's one of the specialty that Conrad Manila uh, in China Blue by Jaramila restaurant, where we create a special master class every time when I visit Manila. Where every time we feature different things, uh, sharing some uh, cooking methods from uh, China and, and uh, different parts of the world. Today, we are going to feature a dish which uh, what we call crispy milk custard. Uh, it's one of the traditional dish. It comes from a, a province called Dalian, where buffalo milk is actually the specialty over there. And then we are going to create a wonderful uh, dessert with a twist in, in presentation where I believe nobody has seen before. In this season, we are doing a summer harvest menu in China Blue by Jeremy Leung where it's only uh, at a very special rate of 4,500 pesos and you're expecting wonderful dishes uh, uh, of different creations where you're going to taste it exactly during lunch. 
uh, is going to be a six course menu uh, that consists on uh, a appetizer uh, of three combinations whereby you get a seafood item you get a meat item and then we also have a deep fried item a vegetarian please come by china blue by jeremy leo and uh, we look forward to have you uh, and taste our uh, summer harvest After successfully opening seven hotel developments, property giant Megaworld introduced a new homegrown three-star hotel brand in Binondo last April 10. Hotel Lucky Chinatown, which will directly be connected to Lucky Chinatown Mall via footbridge, will offer 93 elegantly designed rooms and suites ranging from standard queen, standard twin, junior suite, and executive suite. Hotel Lucky Chinatown resident manager Jeremy Russell Go gave a speech. Chairman and CEO of Megaworld, Dr. Andrew L. Tan, also shared a message through a video. FFCCCII President Henry Lim Bon Leong and President of CFBC Alan Wong Butt Loy attended the ceremony and joined the toast. DOT Secretary Bernadette Romulo Puyat, CEO of Hotel Lucky Chinatown Lourdes T. Gutierrez Alfonso, Chief Strategy Officer of Megaworld Kevin Tan, and Managing Director of Global One Hotel Raimundo Melendres graced the event and joined the fortune cookie cracking. This hotel along Reina Rihanda Street will soon offer recreational and business amenities and facilities for different types of guests like Cafe de Chinatown, Zabana Bar, Gym, Spa, Wet and Dry Sauna, and Function Rooms. The event was hosted by Trina Colleen Ong. Community 我為你祈禱所以李荣美先生为菲律宾华报以及飞华日报专栏作家也曾为菲律宾商报纸笔We have one of their specialties, the pickup pops. Mm. Chinoy TV is brought to you by Oishi, Australia Harvest Oats, Mayor Photo, professional photo and video equipment, Macron Trading. Yokian Garcia Chen Zixia Wu Zhongzhen An Sun Dan Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Japan Parts Trading Center Distributor of Koyo Automotive and Industrial Bearings. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific.
Derived Cafe is an 80s throwback arcade cafe. Uh, five of us uh, developed this concept. Uh, we call it derived because it literally means derived from something or inspired from a concept idea. So today we give you an 80s arcade concept. So uh, when you come inside the Rive Cafe, you'll be uh, feeling something nostalgic. Uh, you'll reminisce the past together with all the patterns, with all the uh, neon lights that you can see. So the Rive Cafe features an arcade room with 14 arcade machines. It is the ultimate throwback arcade cafe in the South. Come dine with us with the best of 80s here at the Rive Cafe. See you! fun games they have right there. Of course, we have to try their specialty dishes right here at Derive Cafe. So at a first look, of course, their cuisine right here is sort of like an American diner, but with a Filipino twist because we are here in the Philippines after all. And yeah, just looking from um, right here, I can see that they definitely look really fun. And now let's take um, a better taste. So first we have right here their strawberry arugula salad. Of course we've got lots of veggies over here. We've got your bright fresh strawberries and they are drenched in their balsamic vinegar and strawberry vinaigrette sauce. We also have here some almonds actually. Well, this is definitely a refreshing and fruity salad, perfect for the summer. And you know, when you just want something light and fresh, this is the way to go. I love the strawberries, very fresh. Next, we have one of their specialties, the pickup pops. So it's kind of like your pickup six, but of course in chicken form. So it's fried chicken. And we have here two specialty sauces. We've got their honey mustard sauce and also their barbecue sriracha sauce. Okay. Mm. You can really hear the crunch just by slicing it. Let's try the honey mustard. Mm. I love that bittersweet honey mustard taste. And the chicken, very good. It's um, chewy on the inside and really crunchy on the outside. So from one chicken dish to another, this time, this is kind of like their deconstructed tinola chicken. And this chicken dish is actually what they call game over because according to the team of course once you try this it's game over for all of their chicken dishes so yeah um, definitely high expectations but yeah looking at it it looks very tasty and this is actually roasted and cooked in um, the flavor profile of a tinola okay. it looks very tender just from slicing it So wow, I definitely understand why they call this the game over chicken dish. Um, I especially loved this sauce, the flavored vinegar. Actually, it's spicy as well and it just kind of complements the entire dish. And since this is kind of like a deconstructed tinola slash roasted chicken, you're gonna have to really get different elements from the entire dish and just um, blend them all together inside your mouth. And really the bursts of flavors, they are amazing. And it's definitely something comforting and at the same time a very unique way to try um, a chicken dish. So I definitely enjoyed my overall derived cafe experience right here. Of course, they went the extra mile from your usual cafes because again, they are a throwback arcade cafe after all. So aside from their really fun arcade games and machines, they also have their board games that you can enjoy and play with while you're waiting for your food or if it's just like a random hangout with your friends, it's definitely a great spot that you're going to want to come and experience. Join us again next week as we roll out another set of fun and exciting features. I'm Janina Chan, Washi Tai Shiran, and this is Chinoy TV, Feihua Dian Shi Tai.
Chinoy TV is brought to you by Oishi.